channel. This is Karina from Day by Day K, your fitness instructor and fitness friend. Guys, we are on week two of our weight training series. So in today's workout, we're gonna be heading over to the weights. We're gonna be doing our second part for our 60s workout, which is gonna be a full body routine, hitting all the muscles, all the major muscles, um, for 60 repetitions. So if you guys joined in last week, um, you saw that it was kind of like alternating between one exercise and another. We're gonna do the same thing today. We're just gonna change up some of the exercises. So with that being said, just having a water bottle close by. If you wanna use a mat, you can go ahead and do that. Some weight, if you don't have weights at home, again, you can feel free to use anything with a little bit of weight. So maybe something like water bottles or water bottles filled with sand or laundry detergent, anything with a little bit of weight, um, just so you can add on that little bit more of of a challenge for your muscles. Um, this is definitely a pregnancy friendly workout, but I would always recommend speaking to your doctor before trying out any workout program. So it's always that, that, that goes for anybody, not necessarily just the pregnant women out there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let's get into this workout. Alrighty guys, so let's get started. We're gonna get started with a couple of body weight exercises just to kind of get the muscles ready to rock and roll and warm and ready to go. So we're just gonna bring the arms out and in here. Again, warming up those shoulders, warming up the chest, a little bit of the back here. So just out and in. Um, making sure that you're keeping your core engaged as well as you're doing this. Let's add on some steps here. Just stepping it out side to side. Again, just very simple, very light, warming up that body. Um, let's do a little bit more for those shoulders. So pressing up, just like you'd be doing a shoulder press here. So same concept, very good. And let's push those hands forward here. Perfect. Get going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. From here, body weight squat and lift. And up. Very good. Coming up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Eight left. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Keep those arms moving as well. Two. And one. Awesome. Hip rotations. You guys know the drill. Very good. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Awesome and just reaching for those ankles here. Still making sure that we're bringing that opposite arm up, so we're getting that upper body nice and warm as well. Let's do the same thing to the back here. Curling those legs back. Very good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now you can do this with a wall or without the wall. We're just gonna be swinging our leg front and back. Very good, again, just warm up those hips here. And then you can even turn your toe out slightly. Good. And let's switch it over to the other side. So option, just front and back. And then if you feel a little bit warmer, you wanna add on, just turning that toe out in the back here. Very good. Back to center here. Just side lunges, side to side here. Awesome stuff. Got a lot of uh, exercises for the inner thigh today. The legs, so we wanna make sure they're super warm. Good, and shoulder rolls here. Let's add in a couple of knees. Body should be feeling a little bit warmer now. And circling the other way. Very nice. Perfect, and just a little bit with the arms here with the elbows. Very good. Perfect, reach it up, shake it off. Let's get into this workout. Okay guys, so we're gonna get into the first two exercises which are both going to be for legs. This is gonna make it a little bit more challenging from last week where we had a little bit of a break between muscle groups where we did maybe some squats and sh some shoulders. Today we're gonna be doing legs with legs, uh, chest with chest, and so on and so forth. So 
I've prepared my weights here. Again, I'm not gonna be going super heavy because I already have some additional weight added on, but you can go as heavy as you'd like. We're gonna be doing 20 repetitions, so keep that in mind. You don't want it to be too heavy because you do want to get to that 20 rep um, range, okay? If you find that throughout the first round, maybe it is a little bit too heavy, just stop when you can't go on anymore. Remembering, always form over level of intensity, form over reps, okay? So if you need to take that break, if your weight is too heavy and you don't have the option to adjust, just keep it to a lower rep range, okay? Um, so my weights here, they kind of adjust. I'm gonna keep it at the weight that I'm at here for now. We're gonna start off with some deadlifts. So. Uh, just a couple of quick reminders for the deadlifts. You want to make sure you're really, really keeping your core engaged and you're keeping your knees soft. So these pants are a perfect opportunity for you guys to make sure that you're not locking your knees like my knees are not locked now. You want to keep your knees soft, rolling the shoulders back, engaging the core. We're going to take it down with a flat back and then come up, squeezing the glutes at the top. So we get another 19 of those. Get ready here, three, two, one, and down, and coming up. Breathing in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, 15 left here. You should be feeling the stretch in the back of the hamstrings. 13, boom, 12, good. more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep it going, guys. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome, from here we're going right into squats, okay? So again, you can keep your weight. If you need to put your weight down, you can go ahead and do that as well. And we're gonna go for 20. Boom. <clears throat> 18. 16, so as you guys can see, my toes are slightly pointed out. Again, belly's kind of getting in the way at this point. So um, my knees are still aligned with my toes. If your toes are facing forward, that's fine. You just wanna make sure that um, your knees are just aligned with those toes. Keep it going. Good. 10. Take your time with the moves. Breathe in, exhale. Eight. Seven. We got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's do it again. Here it goes. Deadlifts. Remember to feel free to pause the video at any point if you need to take a little bit of a longer break. Taking it down. Boom. Twenty. Again, form over reps. We want to make sure this isn't happening with the back. Right? You don't want to have it rounded. You want to keep it nice and flat. 15 more, everyone. 14. Squeeze those glutes at the top. 11. Here. 
So I'm just gonna adjust my weight for the squats. I'm just gonna use one weight for this round. Three, two, one, and I'm taking it down. 20. 18. Keep it going, taking it down as low as you can. Good. 15 more, guys. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get into our second two exercises, which is going to be for chest today. So before I do that, I'm going to actually adjust my weight a little bit. Um, these are awesome weights, by the way, because they switch from um, about five pounds to 50 pounds. So it's really great. I'm just going to pull it out and make it just a tiny bit lighter for now. We're going to be doing a reverse grip chest press, alternating with push-ups. Actually, we're gonna do the push-ups first. So as you guys know, um, for the push-ups, there's a lot of options. I'm gonna stick with the uh, box push-ups today. If you can do the full ones, go with the full ones. If you wanna do half push-ups, you can do half push-ups. We're going for 20 repetitions. Remember, as you go along, you can always adjust your level of intensity. So you can start off with a full, take it to a half, go into a box, you can mix it, mix it up. Just remembering that your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are always nicely aligned. Again, 
I will post a video um, below in the comment section so you guys can uh, refer back if you need to uh, with regards to proper push-up form, okay? So let's go for 20 here. Again, if you're doing a box push-up like myself, you just wanna make sure that you're not pulling your elbows forward, your elbows are slightly going back, okay? Three, two, one, and here goes, 20. 19. You can go a little bit slower than my count or a little bit faster, but again, focusing on a full range of motion here. And here it goes, 15 left, 14. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four more, everyone, three, two, last one. And taking it up, we're gonna flip it over onto our backs here. And you're gonna grab your weights. We're gonna do a reverse grip chest press. So instead of having your arms, palms facing out, you're gonna have your palms facing in, okay? So here we go, setting it up. Palms are turned, and here it goes. 20. any reason, again, being on your back if you're pregnant, um, an additional option is to lift your bottom off the mat, um, just to kind of give yourself a little bit more support. Here goes 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, squeeze in that chest, 5, 4, 3, and one down and down let's take it up for our second set here going into push-ups again I'm really feeling that burn in the chest quite fast so here we go three two one and 20 18 
nine. This is why you should film this video. Eight, seven, to work hard. Six, five, four more. Three, two, final one. Woo. And here goes final set with the reverse grip. You got this, guys. Let's make it happen. Three, two, one, and press it up. Four, three, two, 
two, and one. Boom, taking it down, grabbing your little minis again, or again, going without any weight. Again, you can feel free to do this standing. Shoulders back, and going for 20 here. Notice also my arms are straight, but I'm not locking my elbows. I find that a lot of the time, people that are double jointed or very, very flexible tend to really lock out those elbows. This definitely goes for everybody, but again, you wanna make sure they're keeping those elbows soft. 15 left. Exhale up, inhale down. Very good. Twelve, eleven, ten more. Yes, like a boss. Eight, seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, last one. Boom, and taking it down. Perfect, back rows, round two. So let's take it up. Here we go. Shoulders back, and row 20. 19. Just a quick little reminder, also try not to let the shoulders drop for each one. So notice, shoulders pull back as I'm going. 15 more. two for one deal. Who doesn't love those, right? Last time here, rolling the shoulders back, head is nice and tall, looking forward, 20 to go. Yep. Beautiful. 15, 14, 12, Final set for those rows, and then you get another break. How nice! Here it comes. Three, two, one, and row. Twenty. Make it count. Nineteen. Abs are tight. Eighteen. Yep. Thirteen. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, drive it up, two, last one, Woo. weight down, guys, so amazing, we have just the arms to go, and then you got your strut, grab some water, and we'll see you right back. arms, bicep, tricep combo here. You can most definitely do this, um, again, as always, standing. You can do it seated. I'm gonna do it on my knees. 
uh, for the purpose of just a little bit more of a challenge. Sometimes, especially with um, high repetition exercises, uh, with bicep curls, people tend to swing a little or use the legs for additional momentum, and we wanna kind of prevent that. So again, actually the option to be seated or on your knees is ideal for this round, but if you wanna do it standing by all means, feel free to do that, just being a little bit more aware of um, how it's gonna feel. So these weights are actually pretty heavy right now, so I might do the first round with this and then reduce a little bit, but we're gonna just hit hammer curls. You can most definitely alternate this, or you can do both arms at the same time. So I'm gonna try to hit both arms at the same time. We'll see how it goes, because it is a little bit heavier than I had remembered. But anyway, here we go. Three, two, one, bicep curl. We're gonna go for 20, 19. So the nice thing with this as well is that I'm able to add a little bit more um, core and um, glutes to keep myself stable here. 15 left, boom, 14, 13, good, 12. I'm gonna go into singles here, 11. You can keep the doubles, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoo, and one. Awesome, let me just reduce that a little bit. We're gonna go into triceps. So you only really need one weight, um, or you can use two, and it depends on um, how heavy your weights are. We're gonna do overhead here. Again, squeeze your glutes, protect your lower back, take it down, and overhead, 20. 19, 18, yep, 16, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, Three more, two, last one, Woo. and taking it down, switching it into those bicep curls again. So here it comes, three, two, one, and curl. 20, 18, 16, 16. exhale, inhale, 14, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, good, good, 5 more, 4, 3, 2, and 1, again, feel free to pause the video if you need a little bit of a longer break, smaller muscle group, again, get fatigued a little bit faster, especially because you're using those arms for chest and back already. So here it comes, and back, press it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10 left, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh my goodness, and 1, Woo, I am feeling that burn, final set here guys, oh shake it off, here it goes, 3, 2, 1, and curl. Seventeen, 
11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yes, last <clears throat> set for those triceps. Here we go, setting it up. And go. round, okay? I find it really important, especially uh, for all the pregnant ladies out there, really important to strengthen that core. I'm gonna do a little exercise. If you wanna join in, just wait for the next 30 seconds to finish. If not, you wanna skip ahead to the cool down. I'm gonna post the time right here so you guys can just skip ahead to the cool down. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Keep holding, 
keep it tight. Make sure that if you're holding that plank, you shouldn't be feeling it in your lower back. 20 left. 18, if you are feeling it in your lower back, make sure to lift your bottom up a little bit higher. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and take it down. Okay guys, we did it. We're going to finish off with our stretching. So again, grab some more water and I'll meet you back here. Alrighty guys, so welcome back. We did it. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I'm really, really loving these 60s workout with the 60 reps. Please let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed this workout because if you enjoyed it a lot, and if I get a lot of comments, then I would love to add on more to this series. I've already planned a, a body split for next week, but I can always change it up for you guys. So let me know how you feel. And um, yeah, all right, let's get into our cool down. So let's bring our legs out. Um, just sitting up as tall as you can. Again, you wanna have your legs straight. If it's too intense with both legs out, you can definitely keep one leg in, okay? Taking a nice deep breath in, reaching for one side, reaching for that toe, or as far as you can go with a straight leg here. So again, the purpose is to stretch the hamstring, okay? So if your knee's coming in, you're not getting that stretch. So if it means just reaching here or you're just sitting like this, is enough, just stay there, okay? We're doing good here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it up and over to the other side. Same thing here. Legs worked hard, I hope you guys enjoy. I want you to think about how awesome you did today. All those moments where we were like, oh my gosh, do I wanna keep going or should I just like exit this video right now? You guys made it through. If you stuck to the bonus round, congrats on that as well. If you didn't, no worries. You can always come back to this video on another day and do the whole thing again. <laughs> Shake it out a little bit. Let's bring our feet in. Okay, and deep breath and exhale, just kind of pushing our knees down without using your elbows, just using the muscles in our, um, in our hips to do it ourselves, okay? We'll be here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Let's come onto our knees. We're going to do a little bit of a stretch for the back, so child pose here. You can have your knees together or knees a little bit wider, just sitting into um, our heels here. Relax in the back here. Three. Very good. And when you're ready, we're gonna bring it back up onto all fours here. Cat and cow rounding and flattening out the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Back to center here. Again, you can do this with your legs crossed or seated any way you like. I'm gonna cross one hand over, pull it in. Relax the shoulder here. Arms worked hard. Shoulders worked a little bit too, so. Take it down, shake it off. Over to the other side, pull it in. Relax the shoulder. Awesome. Taking it down, we're gonna turn our head side to side here. And looking up, down. And you guys are done. Awesome stuff, guys. Again, thank you as always for joining in. Really means a lot. Every time I see um, views on my videos, it makes me really, really happy. So if you can um, share this with somebody that you know that would be interested in a workout, 
definitely share. Um, if you like this video, again, it really, really motivates me when I see those thumbs up. So please just hit that thumbs up button. It really makes me feel better <laughs> that these videos are gonna are being enjoyed by people. And I will hopefully see you guys next week for another workout. Ciao!